Grew up on a farm in Osborne County. Certainly gave me an appreciation and love for agriculture. Got an opportunity to come back to pick up some of my own ground and partner up with my dad to share machinery and get started in production agriculture and been out here ever since. The Sorghum for Birds program is a program that helps farmers focus on acres that are low in return on investment. Those acres can, can still, still have profitability and sustainability for the farm in a, in a completely different way. Through extensive collaboration with sorghum growers, we have created this new exciting program, Sorghum for Birds. We have utilized a panel of growers to inform our decision-making process the whole way, really from the ground up, ask them what they wanted to see and what they needed, and how we could help them access conservation programs and what was lacking from their perspective. Farmers have guided this program every step of the way. In our role in that, we're going to help guide with our experience out here uh, working and living on a day-to-day -day basis. The United Sorghum Checkoff Program clearly values the input. With Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever, no partnership is more important to us than the one that we create with our partners, the growers uh, we work with every day. Working with the Sorghum Checkoff has been absolutely a natural fit for Pheasants and Quail Forever. We also work with our USDA partners, NRCS and FSA, our local state level partners, the Kansas Department of Ag, uh, Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks, the Kansas Water Office, and many others, other nonprofits like Ducks Unlimited. Wildlife conservation habitat and on-farm profitability thrive when sorghum is a key component to farmers' crop rotation systems. The U.S. sorghum industry is building a sustainability footprint, not just out here in these fields and with these stories, but on paper with real, actual, and measurable data. This partnership and this program is key to gathering data and metrics on U.S. sorghum acres for wildlife habitat conservation. By capitalizing on sorghum's natural resiliency as the resource-conserving crop, farmers are implementing ecosystems that are a benefit to us all. Precision ag in, on our farm is becoming more and more relevant. As years go on, you try, to, you try to squeeze that every dollar out of every acre. By using precision planting, we can go back in, we can see where the low yielding spots in the field are. Producer can go back and sit down and, and look at the yield maps, look at the, look at the data on the computer, and then help that make your decision the next year, you know, whether you want to change something. When I first started farming, the thought of giving up acres did not seem appealing. As you continue to farm, you, you do realize as we got into precision agriculture, you can quickly find out those acres that are underperforming. It's easy to put those acres into a program that will be not only beneficial for our bottom line on the farm, but also beneficial for wildlife habitat. Precision Egg is a natural fit for us working in conservation. It helps us identify those areas that are ROI negative and we can enroll them into a conservation program, helping them navigate the options that they do have available to them. Utilizing sorghum in a crop rotation for game birds and migratory songbirds, sorghum in the fall is a great resource. Sorghum has been a key crop in our rotation. We've 100% no-tilled it since 1985. The nice thing about sorghum is even on a drought year, it's, it's a powerhouse crop. It utilizes what mother nature lets fall from the sky. We use it for habitat. Our pheasants, quail, ducks, geese can seek cover in it during the winter and the fall. When we're out driving around, they're, they're crowing, they're, they're talking to each other, and it shows us that we're, that we're being sustainable. It shows you you're doing something right. Conservation has always played a role in our farm. Transition from a plow to a disc. Once I came back, we started implementing no-till and we continued to see improvements of water infiltration, you know, less erosion. If we keep moving forward in our conservation efforts, we can continue to improve the land for future generations and uh, make it sustainable. Production ag has to be sustainable. Myself being a sixth generation farmer, we have to take care of the soil, we have to take care of the land to continue to feed generations to come. And hopefully, you know, my generation want to farm, you know, when I'm done. So, uh, you know, sustainability is, I mean, it is what it is. It, we have to have it or, or we won't survive.